King David and Bathsheba, 2 Samuel 10:17. It was springtime when kings go off to war, but David sent his commander out with the whole Israelite army to go fight while he remained in Jerusalem. One evening, David got up from his bed and walked on the roof of the palace. He saw from his roof a woman that was very beautiful. She was bathing at the time. He sent someone to find out about her. When the word got back to David about her, he found out that her name was Bathsheba and her Husband was at war along with the rest of the army of men. His name was Uriah. David still sent for Bathsheba to visit him. She became to be pregnant and told David. So David sent word to his commander to see to send Uriah home so that he would sleep with his wife so that he would not find out about their affair. Once Uriah got to the palace, King David told Uriah, Uriah to go home to be with his wife, but he didn't. He said to David, the ark of the Lord and Israel and Judah are staying in tents. How could I go to my house and sleep? As surely as you live, I will not do such a thing. The next, the next day, David invited him to eat and drink with him, and Uriah got drunk, but still didn't go to his home. He just slept on his mat at the palace entrance once again. After two days, Uriah went back to fight in the war, so David wrote to the commander, put Uriah in the front line, then withdraw from him, so he will be struck down and die. When a messenger told David and Bathsheba that Uriah had died in battle, Bathsheba mourned for him. After the time of mourning was over, David had her brought into his palace and she became his wife. Nathan, a prophet of God, told David that he will lose the baby because the thing he had done to Uriah displeased the Lord. So when the baby was born, he got sick and died seven days later. David comforted Bathsheba and they had another son and named him Solomon. The Lord loved him. Solomon became king after David.